Learn how to add this simple transition in PowerPoint and surprise your audience at your next presentation. Check out my tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Insert a picture. Make it smaller and crop it to the rounded rectangle shape. Adjust the corners and crop it horizontally. Add the guides around your picture. They will help in matching the next photos. Copy main picture and replace with other teammate. Crop it back to its original size and scale down. Copy again, replace the picture and change the size a bit. Do the same with the other photos. Use different layouts, both horizontal and vertical. Add your logo and a catchy tagline. Adjust the font to your preferences. Remember to remove the text margins. It helps in aligning the text with other objects. Add the team member's first and last name. Enlarge the font and then use the eyedropper tool to select its color from the background of the photo. Add some extra line in the same color. Now, add a brief description about this person. Adjust the font size. Copy the text and change it to the page number. Dim the inactive pages with a gray color and enlarge the number 1. Make sure everything is properly aligned. Copy the text again, enlarge the text. Remove the fill and add a gray outline. Add another text, this time change the outline to fill. Rotate the text and place it behind the team member's photos. Okay, our slide already looks good. Duplicate the slide. Shift the main photo. And first photo at the bottom left side to the left and make main photo smaller. Move the bottom right photo to the center, enlarge it and crop it if needed. Then rearrange the remaining photos, following the direction of a clock's hands. Each time, slightly change the framing of the photo and its size. Change the team member's name and change the color by picking it with the eyedropper from the photo background. Change the description and page number. Don't forget to change the color of the line. Apply the same steps for the rest of the slides. Remember to change the arrangement of the photos, the color of the name, the line, and to change the page number. Arrange the photos one after the other, in accordance with the movement of the clock hands. Let's go back to the second slide, and add an additional crop to random photos. This will add an extra effect during animation. Repeat this on every second slide.
Now select all the slides and add the morph transition. Go to presenter mode and preview the animation. You can use the right and left arrows to switch between slides. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more helpful tutorials.